one of the biggest surprises for us was that relationships keep us healthier. Like it made sense that it keeps us happier, you know, good relationships, more happiness, sure. But how could good relationships make it less likely that you would get coronary artery disease? Like how could that happen, right? Or that less likely that you would get type two diabetes? How could that be a thing? And so this ne next frontier, well, it's a current frontier, is we're studying how that works. Like how do relationships actually change our physiology, change our bodies? So we're looking a lot at stress and stress management. And one of the things we're getting pretty clear on is that good relationships are stress managers for us. You can sort of see that, like, like if I have something upsetting happen in my day and I can like churn about it and ruminate about it, you know, if I go home and I talk to my wife or I can call up a friend and I can really vent, I can literally feel my body calm down. And we think that that's a lot of how this works actually, that, that good relationships return our bodies to a kind of baseline equilibrium after we've been stressed. And since stress is a normal part of life, we want those stress regulators in our lives. So then when you're asking, well, what's the new frontier? Gosh, I mean, I don't know what it is, right? But right now, cutting edge includes like messenger RNA. It includes the systems that turn genes on and off. So it's not just knowing which genes control happiness, which we may never know actually, because they're probably you know, thousands, if not millions of genes that do. But then it's also seeing how different kinds of proteins get made or not made, depending on which genes get turned on and off in our bodies. And so I think that's gonna be one of the, one of the frontiers as we develop better ways of looking at the brain while it's functioning, you know, so while we're in scanners, we're going to know more about, you know, what does, what does talking with you do to my brain right now? Right. You know, I think I'm having a good time and, uh, and there are things that probably that I know annoy me where I don't have a good time. What does my brain look like? And as we get better and better at visualizing brain processes, we're going to know more. Mm -hmm.